Thank you for tuning in. Today's devotion is for April 5th. The scripture states, Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Psalm 34 and verse 11. The Holy Spirit illumines our darkness, informs our ignorance, and understands and helps us in our manifold necessities. But the mind must be constantly going out after God. If coldness and worldliness are allowed to come in, we shall have no heart to pray, no courage to look up to him who is the source of strength and wisdom. Then pray always, dear brethren and sisters, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. Urge your requests to the throne of grace and rely upon God hour by hour and moment by moment. The service of Christ will regulate all your relations with your fellow men and make your life fruitful in good works. Let none imagine that selfishness, self-esteem, and self-indulgence can, sorry, are compatible with the Spirit of Christ. Upon every truly converted man or woman, there rests a responsibility that we cannot rightly estimate. The maxims and ways of the world are not to be adopted by the sons and daughters of the heavenly King. The arduous struggle for conquest over self, for holiness and heaven, is a lifelong struggle. There is no relief in this war. The effort must be continuous and persevering. Christian integrity must be sought with resistless energy and maintained with a resolute fixedness of purpose. A genuine religious experience unfolds and intensifies. Continual advancement, increasing knowledge, and power in the Word of God is the natural result of a vital connection with God. The light of holy love will grow brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. Let us pray. Sound the battle cry, see the foe is nigh, raise the standard high for the Lord. Gird your armor on, stand firm everyone, rest your cause upon his holy word. Strong to meet the foe, marching on we go, while our cause we know must prevail. Shield and banner bright, gleaming in the light, battling for the right we never can fail. O thou God of all, hear us when we call, help us one and all by thy grace. When the battle's done and the victory won, may we wear the crown before thy face. Rouse then, soldiers, rally round the banner, ready, steady, pass the word along. Onward, forward, shout aloud, Hosanna, Christ is captain of the mighty throne. Heavenly Father, I thank you for yet another day on redemption ground, another day on repentance ground, rather, because we have been giving the beautiful gift of life this morning and we're able to seek you your word has said you will be found but we have to be willing to seek seek righteousness seek the things that are pleasing in your sight i tell you it's so wonderful to know that christ is the captain 
and that we have the opportunity to be a part of the mighty throng. We are indeed soldiers. Christians are soldiers on the side of God. There is a war between good and evil. The devil continues to be busy because he knows he has but a short time. And you continue to reach out to your children to remind us that we are in a war. We should not be distracted by worldly things. We should not be distracted by current events because we know how the story ends. We know what happens when this world will be burnt so that we will receive a new earth. We know the end. And so, Father, I pray that we will stop allowing the devil to distract our minds with <laughs> its various things. For each of us, it's different. I pray that you will help us to keep our eyes fixed on our soon coming King, Jesus Christ, as he will come through the clouds and through the sky with all the angels coming to reclaim all of us who choose to surrender to your Holy Spirit. All of us who choose to live, li live lives not as we want, but as you have directed us through your word and through your Holy Spirit speaking to our minds. Help us not to allow darkness to take control of our minds and our hearts. Help us, Heavenly Father, to be loving Christians. Help us to desire the best for everyone that we come in contact with. Help us to know that we have you always by our sides. Forgive us for our coldness. Forgive us of our worldliness. Forgive us because we don't take the time to pray and to study your word. But Lord, I thank you each and every day that you give. Each and every moment that you reach out to us to remind us that we are Christian soldiers. We ought to lift up, as it says here, holy hands, not doubting but to trust your love and to trust your word. Help us to know that we have all that we need. When we put our trust in you, when we are obedient to your words, help us to realize the danger of self because self is our greatest enemy, not Satan not our brothers and sisters in church, not our family members, but self. Because we choose if we're going to obey you, we choose if we're gonna forgive others, we choose whether we're gonna be helpful, we choose if we're going to be joyful. We have a choice in everything. And so help us to not become cold and wicked and disobedient to you because of something someone said or someone did. Help us to gain victory over self. Help us to allow your Holy Spirit to take control of our minds and hearts. I do ask continually that you'll cleanse our minds and our hearts and that we will allow your Holy Spirit to pour in your love in our minds and hearts so that we would love your word, love you, love to do right. Guide us and keep us, dear Lord. Help us to know that Jesus is coming soon. Ask for your Holy Spirit to take full control, 
May your will be done is my prayer in Jesus' name with thanksgiving. Amen and amen.